everybody and welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Another great conversation today. Today I'm going to be welcoming Juicy. She's actually one of the, one of the graduates from my hypnosis certification program. So she is a certified hypnotherapist with the American Board of Hypnotherapy. Um, she's also got a lot of really great um, training and experience. She's, she's a spiritual counselor as well. I'll get her to explain uh, some of the stuff that she's trained in and some of the amazing stuff that she's doing with her clients once she hops on here. Really excited for the conversation today. I'm just going to read out uh, in her words, what she does, she says, I specialize in narcissistic abuse recovery, specifically healing at a deep soul level uh, from this, as well as changing the patterns and internal belief systems that we have surrounding relationships to help them, uh, referring to clients, to help them be drawn towards better suited partners and in turn be able to foster healthy and safe relationships. So really excited to hear uh, from Juicy about that and how she does that and what tips she has for everybody out there who's looking to uh, either they themselves foster safe and healing relationships or safe and healthy relationships or or if you're a coach that helps other people to do that as well, you're going to want to stay tuned. Any second. So help me welcome Juicy. Put your questions in the chat if you have questions. Hey, Juicy, good morning. Hey, hey Ryan, how's it going? I'm doing very well. Paul, how are you? I'm doing okay. Cool, cool. Very nice to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, okay, so I just finished reading out your, your I help statement. Um, but if you don't mind, could you just introduce yourself to, uh, to the audience here? You know, who are you? What, what kind of stuff do you do? Who do you work with? Where are you? That kind of stuff. All right. Uh, thank you for having me, by the way. I really appreciate it. Um, so um, my name, uh, it, Juicy, is like a short form of my full name, which is Giuseppina so Italian. I live in Toronto. Um, and I've been a Reiki master for quite a few years now. And, um, and then I also became a spiritual director, which is uh, someone who does spiritual counseling and guidance with um, people. And it wasn't until um, a few months ago that I actually got certified for hypnotherapy, which was always on my radar, but it just wasn't like the right time. And it kind of fit into the puzzle like perfectly after everything that I was working on. So essentially, I help people with a lot of things like my scope is like anything that is under the umbrella of spirituality. Um, but my passion um, kind of uh, lies in helping people to connect back to themselves, to trust themselves, and to create like a foster a better relationship with themselves so that they can uh, foster better relationships with other people, especially those people who have had these types of relationships. And, you know, unfortunately, the reason that I'm passionate about this is because of my own experience um, uh, and having had these types of abusive types of partnerships and dynamics. So I've done all the healing around that. I have learned and if I can help even like one person move away from that type of pattern and to connect with themselves then that's amazing cool yeah so yeah uh, quite a, yeah quite an important um, you know thing that you're doing with with your clients and helping people and you know that often is the sort of the pattern that coaches are in where you know they've overcome something very difficult in their own life yeah. and now you know they're on a mission like yourself to help other people overcome that same thing, but hopefully faster and with less pain yeah. and, uh, <laughs> without having to figure everything out all on their own, right? So yeah, one of the things that I like about um, your practice uh, or, or that I think is a little bit different, a little bit special, is that you see a lot of people in person and you, you actually have a physical office where you see clients in addition to working online. And these days, you know, and I'm speaking about myself as well, I, I work exclusively online. Although I have an office, I don't host clients or students here. I only work online. So, um, you know, kudos to you for, for doing both, right? Because for more people, it's one or the other. Um, and you're in, just so people are watching aware, you're in the Toronto area. So if somebody did want to book a, an in-person um, yeah, yeah, sure. they can do so, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say, so it's in nor located in, in North York, but not quite the downtown core. And 
Um, it's an excellent location. Um, there's free parking, which is a big thing because living in Toronto, uh, people who know who live in these big cities know the hassle of trying to drive around and find parking that isn't like, you know, $30. Um, and it's accessible by our transit system here as well. So it's, uh, it's a great location. But yeah. I just started that uh, in August of last year, so I'm really excited about that. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, and, congr and congratulations on that. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's let's talk a little bit about because um, we talk a lot on this channel about Reiki and hypnosis. I think we pretty much got that covered, but I think you might be the first spiritual director or spiritual counselor <laughs> that, that I've had on the on the channel. So really excited to hear about that. You know, how did you get into that? I know when we first met, you were still in training as, as a spiritual counselor. So how'd you get into it? What does it mean? And how does that better enable you to, to help other people? So funny story, I didn't actually go to school to become a spiritual director. The program I initially signed up for was spiritual psychotherapy. So my background uh, is psychology uh, in university, and I wanted to be a psychotherapist. And so I signed up to a program, and it was an intensive one-year program. And it worked kind of really well, because at the time I was working full-time, and so I stepped down and was supposed to do this thing. But unfortunately, they had issues with the course and the program. And so it was kind of a... A deal where you do both of them at the same time they added it in so I took spiritual direction I wasn't even sure what it was at the beginning but I was really glad that I did it after because it was so in-depth about uh, spirituality and we got to study like all religions and we learned about things called religious wounding which was big for me because I was raised Roman Catholic and I didn't realize like the types of um, belief systems that I was carrying that were actually hindering me because of my religion and those like belief systems that were like really placed like hard on us when we were young. And, um, and so I, I, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. The psychotherapy thing um, is kind of on hold at the moment, but it's okay. I have all these other things going on. And so it is counseling uh, on a, with a, on a spiritual level so i can help people especially like right now there's there's a lot of like awakening happening where people are are coming um into connection with themselves and they're realizing that the external is um sorry my cat is very excited and meowing so if you hear him <laughs> so um I find that a lot of people are coming to the realization that um, the outside world isn't necessarily built to support them and uh, all this stuff and realizing that maybe that's not who they are, all this, all this conditioning and patterns that they were living off of, like, based on, like, their, you know, their parents, their families and things like that. So um, the spiritual awakening and the dark night of the souls are big themes that I think are happening with a lot of people right now. And if you can have someone who can guide you through that, like how amazing would that be? Because I can tell you from my own experience that it is a horrible and difficult uh, experience when you're going through these moments and you have no idea what's happening. You feel disconnected. You feel like you can't relate to people anymore. And um, if you, if you're lucky to find like a therapist who is spiritual, then, you know, that's a bonus, but unfortunately that doesn't tend to be the norm. And so, uh, spiritual counseling offers people the opportunity to sit with someone and have these discussions in a safe space um, where we can kind of tackle all of these themes and get some clarity, I guess you could say. Great. Um, I think that and that's going to really appeal to some people, right? Like, because there's probably a segment of people who know they want assistance, know they want counseling, you know, in this area of building, you know, uh, safer and more happy and healthy relationships, yeah. <laughs> but also it's important to them to respect their own spirituality and to approach it from, a, you know, a, a way that feels right, right? So it's good to know that, you know, there's people like yourself uh, providing yeah. that, that option. So, I mean, in that regard, when, when, we're, when we're talking about somebody who's, you know, maybe recovering from whatever previous programming or previous, potentially previous traumas or, um, you know, or, or just has had the misfortune of not yet finding, you know, the relationships that they want, what sort of shifts need to occur? What sort, what sort of stuff basically, do, you know, do you get into with your clients and helping them to move to that, you know, uh, better, happier life? So 
There's two components that I think are really important right at the beginning. And the first one is that we need to take accountability. And what I mean by that is just to be clear for those who have been in like abusive relationships, um, it, it in no way means that you were deserving or that you asked for any of that stuff to happen. It means that like, for instance, like, my journey when I started, I had to look at like, what about me was allowing me to stay in these relationships to be drawn to these types of people. So accountability means taking a look at what patterns I have that are, are not putting boundaries and putting these people away. That's the first part. And the second really important part is you have to be in a place of having grace and kindness and compassion for yourself for because for many people, they are not there and we are so good at being so critical of ourselves and with so much shame and judgment and if we are going to want to shift these patterns those two things have to be present number one you have to take a look at yourself and honestly be accountable for how you're showing up and to with you have to be kind and compassionate for yourself and have grace for yourself you have to those two things are very important to be present right from the get-go i yeah. would say yeah um yeah i mean i i agree with you on uh, on both for sure there's so much power in not accepting blame or shame for what's happened in the past but accepting the understanding that we can control what happens in the future yeah. and make decisions that are empowering for us despite what what may have happened in the past that's that's so liberating um for so many people and you know i'm yeah. glad to hear that you're instilling that you know uh in your clients so i'm curious um how are you factoring you know into this very important process you're you're guiding people through how are you factoring in the reiki and how are you factoring in the hypnosis how do those components play in so okay so the hypnosis um generally is on its own Although I'm developing um, packages right now for this, uh, the dating thing, and I have a trial running right now. Am, am I allowed to say that? Or? Of course. <laughs> I have a trial. Where I'm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I put out a trial so far where I'm asking 10 people to join, and it's a, a, a ridiculous rate. And you know, right? But it's like 150 for three hypnotherapy sessions. It's nothing. But um, I'm just trying to get um, feedback and information so that I can build my package that I'm going to do. And so um, for that one, it could have spiritual direction and Reiki in it. Um, generally, though, the Reiki and spiritual direction go really well hand in hand because for Reiki, uh, when I do Reiki, I actually um, – end up channeling messages and stuff as well when I'm doing it, where there's like lots of uh, imagery and things and um, things that come up while I'm doing it. And so we talk about, um, I always add a spiritual direction component to Reiki. So people have the option to extend that or to combine them and do half and half because they work really well together. But I really want to add the spiritual direction component into the hypnotherapy one because it's it works really well um so that we can do the processing and talking about it and then we can go in and put in the new suggestions so i like that yeah, yeah. um absolutely I, I love the way those things like can complement yeah. each other like that I'm, I'm curious now that you've let the cat out of the bag you have this really good opportunity <laughs> for a small number of people to work with you for and yeah you're not joking that's <laughs> um for multiple sessions for 150 or whatever it is so who is that for and what and you know what kind of people um are, are going to be the type of people to grab those last few spots in there so let's talk about that okay okay so um essentially the program is called change your dating patterns so one of the biggest things that i learned when i was healing was um that my pattern or that type I was drawn to wasn't because that was just how I was I was born that way and that's who I'm always going to be attracted to and that it was based off of my conditioning of what I experienced as a child so what I experienced with a parent and what I experienced watching my parents together and so that became my programming and so me liking like that you know charismatic like bad boy type who was like and and that abusive cycle and stuff like that who was very manipulative and toxic it wasn't my type it was just 
programming. And so learning that and about attachment styles, and I've been doing lots of like research on that and even working on myself for, uh, with that for years. And I'm like, how can I implement this? And so I've worked on coming up with like a hypnosis for it because essentially all we need to do is go down into our subconscious and, and place new programming there. And, you know, as you know, and to learn how to, um, to be honest with you, one of the biggest parts of all of this is to be in a place where you trust yourself and learning how to trust yourself will be the biggest part when we change, um, when we shift out of that, um, that programming of being drawn to those types of people. And the reason is because we don't trust ourselves. We don't feel like we have control and we don't have all those things. So we tend to give it away with these types of people who take it. And so I'm really excited because, because I've, you know, with all of the training that I've done uh, with you and other training, I've kind of learned a lot about how, um, you know, hypnosis works and how it, um, how we can change like these, these thoughts and beliefs that we thought were like set in stone that are absolutely are not. And I'm excited to offer that because when I learned that I can change that programming, it was like the huge, just like relief of my life. I was so happy to learn that because I thought that I was always going to be drawn to these absolute a-holes. <laughs> I was just like, I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. This is great news. And um, so you can do this program, which is literally only $150 for three hypnotherapy sessions. It's, I only put something there just to have some kind of exchange or reciprocal energetic exchange. Um, I know that it's nothing, but it's okay because I'm using it for my advantage to get information about the package I want to actually offer in the future. So yes. definitely take advantage of it. And it's available online or in person if you're in the area. We can do it in person. And it has the same absolute effect whether you do it online or in person. So there's no importance for that. But I think it's amazing. I'm really excited about it because I know personally like how much this would change people's lives if they can do this and they can stop this cycle of being drawn into these like very harmful relationships so yeah yeah um yeah i mean this is it's a really uh great opportunity if anybody's listening or watching the replay make sure you get in, in touch with uh juicy for you know this three session <laughs> uh steel package um, and it's not that like, um, and for those that are watching, I mean, you might call this uh, a beta program, which means yeah. it's not that Juicy is That's like <laughs> trying out whether it works or not. We know this works yeah. and I know exactly what she's doing in this program. It's that she's gathering a little bit of data to better, uh, you know, refine the program moving forward. But this is a really tremendous opportunity. Um, you know, if you're listening and you fall into this sort of category where, you know, you've, you've been attracted to people who are not good for you, in the past, it really is, you know, um, incredibly empowering to change the programming that, that was causing that uh, to occur. So uh, just last question about it. Is it is it just for women or do you serve women and men? It's or? actually for, for anybody. It's for anybody. This is available to every single body and every body, every person. And um, because uh, unfortunately, like those toxic dynamics are always going to be between like a woman and a man it, it'll be between anyone and so this is available to everybody um just so you know this program once i have it up and running it's not going to be launched until i think about august or september so i'm only doing these 10 right now and exactly like ryan said the hypnosis works there this isn't a question about that it's just about the package and what i want to put with it what works i want to get people's feedback and things like that so um that's one of the stipulations <laughs> is that you give me feedback uh, afterwards yeah. um but yeah it's it's a great opportunity i, I literally yeah I, I don't know what else to say except that it's amazing and I, i'm really excited for the changes it's going to make in people's lives so yeah yeah beautiful yeah it, it is a really exciting uh program so i'm glad you, know, you brought it up uh hopefully we can we can get it filled out actually the, the frame slots here today um anyways okay so i mean we covered the reiki we covered the hypno we covered being a spiritual director um the last question really before i get you to just remind people how to get in touch with you is just what are you excited for these days what do you got coming up this summer uh what are you looking forward to either in business or just in life <laughs> so, so um in business, 
I'm excited, honestly, about the learning about this, um, learning how to do things on my own, because, you know, having been someone who's always been in that dynamic of giving away my power, I've never actually been independent. Like, even though I was independent, like with myself, or at least I seemed, I wasn't actually independent in my life in terms of like, being in control of the things that I was doing. I always, whether it was my workplaces and dynamics, friendships even, um, I just kind of like gave away like my power and wasn't like the lead actor in those roles. So it's ex I'm excited to like be just doing this with my business. I get really excited. I stay up late when I have ideas and start writing things. Um, I just finally registered my business, uh, I think last month, and um, as like an official <laughs> business owner in Ontario. Um, and uh, it'll be I'm, I kind of want to do like a one year party after in August when I come up to the thing and I'll probably have a promotion uh, in August when that comes up just to celebrate. I'm really excited and um, I'm excited to make a uh, connection. So I should mention that I quit like one of my because uh, I was working all these jobs trying to make ends meet. I quit my this job that I've had for years um, back in December and um, now I have free time. So I have time on the weekends to do things now. So uh, I'm going to be signing up for shows uh, like vendor markets and holistic oh, cool. shows. I have one coming up. Um, I think it's June in Vaughn, but I'll post information on my, um, my Instagram about that and going out to like events, like community events or just, you know, socials and things like that. And, and going out to brunch with like my friends and, and things. I have no vacation plans right now, um, but I'm trying to figure out because I really want to go to uh, like a, a warm destination being in yeah. Canada with all this gross weather we've been having lately. Yeah. So uh, hopefully I'll get that, but probably in the fall or something. But yeah, gotcha. that's it. Uh, gotcha. Awesome. Well, congratulations on all your success so far congratulations on everything you're doing you're doing really well thank you um you know and, and i know there's lots more good stuff to come and for those that are watching like you know um this is a really good i can't understate how much of a good opportunity it is to, to work with juicy right now while she has the free time and while she's got this this beta program that she's running and i mean even aside from the beta program now if you're watching this and you're drawn to work with juicy Book it now because I know coaches and I know coach business development. And this right now, this moment is going to be the most accessible Juicy is. It's true. For, <laughs> from this point on, she's only going to get busier and harder to book with. Her prices are only going to go up as they absolutely should. Um, so if you know if you're interested in if working with her, make sure you you know pull the trigger now. It's going to be your best interest. Thank you for saying that. Um, you're most welcome. And Juicy, take this video, take the recording, and put it all over town, right? Whatever you want to do. Um, anyway, my, so I, I, would, I guess that's going to be it. Yeah, add something quickly. Right, my naturopath said the same thing. She said, enjoy this time while you're, you're, um, you have this free time because it's not going to last long. And once you have all the people coming in, you're going to be so busy. And so just enjoy it. Enjoy this time. So uh, I am still obviously looking for new clients. So now is a great time to, uh, but I do have uh, clients uh, who are repeat clients too. And uh, so it's filling up, it's filling up. So yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I, and I totally agree. Yeah. You know, before you know it, you're going to be actually turning away clients because you'll be too, <laughs> too busy um you know yeah but hey that, that's how it goes right and that's why it's important yeah. that, you know we, we're never the only coach in the world that's why there's lots of you know yeah, for lots of coaches and, and exactly. counselors in, okay. in the industry, right? <laughs> um all right juicy well thank you thank you thank you for coming on live with me today thank and you. for sharing about that special opportunity you have and just um all the gifts that you're bringing to the world you're doing really good work and and you know it's really inspiring i'm sure especially for the newer coaches or people who are starting out to hear, you know, how, how well you're doing and what you're bringing to the table. So thank you. Oh, and uh, what's the best way for people to get a hold of you if they want to get involved with what you're doing? Um, you can obviously message me on socials um, on here or on my Facebook page, which is, which is also the same healing by juicy. I have a website healingbyjuicy.com, or you can email me at healingbyjuicy@gmail.com. at gmail.com. Um, I have a, like, 
an actual email set up with my thing, but I haven't like used it much. So just use my Gmail for now, Healing by Juicy, which is, uh, it'll be posted. Uh, it's always posted on my um, on my page anyway, how to contact me. Yeah. And you can even book directly on my, my Instagram and things like that, so. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do, everybody, is put a link to Juicy's Instagram in the replay of this video. So if you click that, then it'll give you access to all of her you know, content and you can contact her there. Um, so Juicy, awesome. You're awesome. Thanks for coming out. Thank Have you. A great rest You're of the awesome. Day. Thank you. I agree. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you later. Okay. All right. Have a good one. Thank you, Ryan. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. <laughs>